Welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Are you having a fine day? Hopefully you are. Hopefully it's not too hot outside for you. But anyway, we're going to react to uh, the Marcos regime. And this is super weapons during the president's regime. Marcos, the president of the Philippines. Um, he was the president of the Philippines, or over the Philippines, for I think like 22 years. You know, he got elected a couple times and the martial law thing happened, so it kept him in power. So apparently they had some super weapons back then. So this should be pretty interesting to learn. I did not know the Philippines had super weapons back then, but we're going to learn now. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what kind of super weapons they may have had. And uh, let's just enjoy and learn together. Maybe some of you don't know that once upon a time, the Philippines is one of the most powerful countries Ooh, in Asia a big statement. when it comes in military forces. According to some research about the history of armed forces of the Philippines, the Philippines owned numerous number of fighter planes, jet fighter, attack helicopters, warships, a submarine chaser, war tanks, Dang. and one of the most advanced super weapons in Asia named Bong Bong One. Bong Bong One. So today in this video, we will talk about how powerful is the Philippine military forces during the President Marcos regime. Sounds pretty powerful. The military forces with the most modern equipment in Asia that you could never imagine as of today. Definitely subscribe to the Untold Stories uh, channel. According to some research, only three countries around the world owned bought F-8 fighter aircraft. Aside from France and the United States, the Philippines is the only country in Asia who owned bought F-8 Crusader. Bought F-8 Crusader is a carrier-based air superiority jet aircraft, gained fame during the Vietnam War in the 1970s. Wow. By destroying 19 Vietnamese aircraft in an air-to-air -air combat during that war. That's a lot During of the Marcos regime, the Destroy. Philippines acquired 35 units of bought F-8 Crusader in 1977. <laughs> However, these aircraft were destroyed during uh, Mount Pinatubo eruption no. and have never been replaced after the Marcos regime. That's a shame. The Philippine Air Volcano. Force also acquired 19 units of F-5A and 3 units of F-5B light fighter aircraft from 1965 to 1967. That 5A Freedom Fighter aircraft was also used by the very famous Blue Diamond Aerobatic Team in 1968. The Blue Diamond is a national aerobatic team of the Philippine Air Force and one of the oldest formal flying aerobatic teams in the world. Think about that. One of the oldest, oldest aerobatic teams in the world. In the world, I did not know that, you know? I didn't know the Philippines had that back then. That's absolutely amazing. It's a shame that that volcano blew up and destroyed all those aircrafts. It sounds like they had a pretty good air, not a pretty good, a damn good air force back in Marco's time with all these airplanes, helicopters and things. That's just amazing. I did not know that. I'm learning a lot in this video. Hopefully you are too. Let's keep going though. Every Independence Day, the Blue Diamond performed their aerobatic skills and techniques up in the sky to show the world-class talent of air force pilots in the Philippines. That's some skill there. BRP Andres Bonifacio PF-7 is a Philippine Navy warship acquired by the Philippines in 1976. Look at it that was baby. built by Lake Washington Shipyard in the United States and served as a lead ship in the Philippine Navy. BRP Gregorio del Pillar PF-8 is a Philippine Navy warship acquired by the Philippines in 1976. Just like the BRP wow. Andres Bonifacio, it is one of the largest combat ship of the Philippine Navy during that time. They got BRP a lot. Diego Silang PF-9 and BRP Francisco de Gohoy are the other warships acquired by the Philippines in 1976 and 1970. Acquiring all kinds. However, after the Marcos regime, these four large warships of the Philippine Navy were discarded and no. sold as scrap. Ah, oh, you scrapped them. The Philippines also acquired four warship destroyer escorts. The BRP Rahalakandula PF-4 in 1976. The BRP Datu Kalanchau PS-76 in 1967. They have a lot of ships! The BRP Datu Sikatuna PF-5 in 1976. And the BRP Rahahumabun PF-6 in 1978. I don't blame them though for having all these ships because all the war and all the tragedies through the Philippine history, 
I would want a big army too. I don't want a big navy too. I'd want a big air force as well, you know, because there's always greedy people, always people try and invade people's countries. Um, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. During Marco's time, um, he was acquiring ships left and right, and why wouldn't he, you know? Why wouldn't he? You gotta protect yourselves. You gotta keep protecting yourselves now. I mean, unfortunately, there's bad people out there, so you gotta have ships like this. I'm just shocked on how many ships they had. Wow. Fleet minesweeper like the BRP Daku Tupas PS-18 in 1975. Two coastal minesweepers, the RPS Zambalias of the RPS Zambonga del Norte in 1979. Two minesweepers, the RPS Davao del Norte and RPS Davao del Sur in 1979. Two submarine chasers, the BRP Nueva Vizcaya in 1968 and BRP Negros Oriental in 1976. <laughs> They're still... 26 units of amphibious warfare vessels, where wow. some of these units are still active until now. 26. That's that's a big fleet. And the hospital ship, the RPS Hospital Nang Tulungan in 1975. During the President Marcos administration, the Philippine Army has a secret program named the Santa Barbara Project. The secret pro It's not secret if you're telling us right now. Now it's not secret. secret. I guess it's over with now, though, but... Project where the Philippine Army is developing a locally made missile called Bong Bong 1. Ooh, the Bong Bong, Bong Bong 1 missile has a 12 kilometers firing range, and it was built by the Filipino scientists with the help of German engineers and scientists. Looks from lethal. 1972 to 1980, these missiles were successfully tested 37 times in Cavallo Island. On September 1975, after the successful launching of four Bong Bong missiles, many people asked why is the Philippines making its own missile program? <laughs> President Ferdinand Marcos then replied, What do you say? The defense of the Philippines cannot be left to alliance with other countries. That is true. We must assume that there will be contingencies where even the United States may not be ready to come to our assistance. During that time, the Philippines yourself. had already a successful missile program, while China was still developing its first missile program. There's also a report that President Marcos had an underground submarine program together with his missile program. Wow. However, after President Marcos' regime, all of these military programs were disbanded and abandoned. No, you gotta keep your According army. to some military and defense experts, if the past administration supported these military projects, maybe the Philippines won't suffer from bullying today. Absolutely, they would not. Oh, that's the end, no. But they had an amazing fleet, amazing fleet, and that bong bong weapon sound pretty deadly to me and I don't know why people would ask Marcos that you gotta protect yourself you can't rely on anybody else you don't know what their intentions are you know maybe they're your allies but maybe they're not really your allies maybe in secret they want to see you fail so of course um, if Marcos was doing something right he was doing that right you gotta protect yourself you gotta have the Air Force you gotta have the Navy you gotta have all the land stuff you just have to in those times and now today's time so i'd love to see the philippine army and uh their defense and stuff get more high tech today that would be awesome to see because i care about the filipino people my i have family in the philippines and i may live in the philippines one day so why wouldn't i want to see it strong you know why wouldn't i anyway those are some of my thoughts running through my head as i watch this but there was super weapons back in marco's regime like they just told us the untold story anyway what are you thinking what's your thoughts should should a country carry all these should they not should they have scrapped the 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 boats should they have not i don't think they should have and it's a shame like i said that that volcano destroyed all those fleets of aircrafts that's just a waste you know but anyway those are my thoughts tell me your thoughts down below let me know what i should be reacting to next i'll try to get to it so I have a lot of requests, so I upload a lot of reactions. That's why I upload so many, because I like to fill subscriber requests and grow the channel. So hit that subscribe button, become part of my family, and I'll see you next time. Peace.